So after seeing the bullshit that was Black Christmas, I literally went from there straight over to the next movie, Jumanji, which is like about, but the commercials were just starting when I got in there. I was like, cool, Jumanji in the next uh, level. That's why I went and saw the new Jumanji movie. Um, full disclosure, I've, I reviewed Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle when it came out, uh, 2017, and I liked the movie quite a fucking bit. Um, I was genuinely surprised by that movie, uh, as quite a lot of people were. I'm sure a lot of people were. Uh, I remember going into, like, when I saw the trailers for that movie when it came out, was coming out, I was like, I don't know about this, you're making a sequel like, 22 years later to Jumanji? Okay. Uh, why are you doing this? But, fuck it, why not? Uh, I mean, you know, prom, poor Warren, Robin Williams has not been dead for that long, and you're gonna make a sequel? Okay. Um, I, like, and I... It's been a while since I've seen the original Jumanji, and I find... I, 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 like, I don't have a fondness over that movie a lot of people have, but I did like it as a kid. Uh, like... Stuff like the special effects don't hold up, but no, a lot of stuff does in the from the nineties, anyways. But um, I really, like I said, I when I heard they were making another sequel, which I was surprised it didn't take it twenty two more years later, uh, and another and one of their stars dying, uh, even though Kevin Hart had a car accident, and almost did die. I guess that counts. Um, he. Uh, I was looking forward to it. I was like, and I got the trailer for this one quite a lot. And uh, I was like, all right, cool. We're making another one. Uh, why the fuck not? I, I like the Welcome to the Jungle quite a bit. I'm sure this one's going to be pretty good. And, you know, it's got Danny DeVito and Danny Glover in this, too. So that's kind of a plus. Um, and, yeah, I liked it. <laughs> it's way better than Black Christmas. There's your fucking review right there. I put on a fucking cover of a uh, cover of the movie. Uh, better than Black Christmas. Anything would have been better than Black Christmas. Fuck, I don't know. Uh, Playmobil probably would have been better watch than fucking Black Christmas. Uh, I say it a lot. So uh, yeah, I liked uh, I knew Jumanji the next level. Uh, it's I didn't think it was as good as. Welcome to the Jungle, and I'll explain as I get into the review why, but I liked it. I thought it was fun. Um, it was, it, I thought it was a nice little follow-up sequel to the, like I said, Welcome to the Jungle. Uh, just like the first one, the cast in this movie is what works. Uh, I love seeing people like The Rock, it was one of my favorite actors, and I'm a big wrestling fan, and he, it's it's always fun to see him play against stereotype, uh, against type for him, uh, it's always, that's his best work, where he's basically Danny DeVito for most of the movie, Danny DeVito is in his body, and it's him trying to act like Danny DeVito, and it's fucking hilarious. Uh, it's like he does it pretty well, and then uh, also Kevin Hart does a really good personation of Danny Glover too. I, I thought they did pretty good. Uh, and, uh, and um, like Danny Glover and Danny DeVito in this movie, when they're in this movie physically, they are really good in this movie too. Uh, when they're in the physically, um, Danny DeVito especially. I love Danny DeVito. He's He's like the goddamn national treasure, and he's awesome in this movie. Is like uh, the one kid from uh, Hereditary's uh, grandpa, uh, and he uh, he had he's his Danny Lover was a lifelong friend of his who he started a restaurant with, and they had a falling out. And they haven't seen each other in years, and Danny Glover's trying to reconnect with him, and then they get sucked into this video game. And for the majority of the movie, they're sitting there arguing with each other. Um, and then they find, you know, obviously a bond back together. And it, there's some fucking kind of sad twist in there, too, which is kind of fucked up. It's come out of nowhere, though, too. But, um, uh, like I see, yeah, he, he, I thought Danny, Danny DeVito and Danny Glover are, are really fun in this movie. Uh, I was, one of the things I fucking love about this movie, that this movie, both movies I saw today, this and Black Christmas, were both PG-13. And uh, I 
Shit you not. If you would have asked me which movie I would have thought would be the more violent, I would have said Black Christmas. No. Jumanji is the more violent uh, more violent than fucking Black Christmas. Jumanji, which is supposed to be a PG-13 kids movie, is more violent than the PG-13 slasher movie. I'm not making that shit up. <laughs> um, I forgot, like, when characters die in this thing, like, they just explode. <laughs> like, it's very graphic. It's almost very graphic. I'm surprised they get away with it. It's almost like the ending, like, every time that they die and explode, it's almost like the ending of Ready or Not. Like, not as graphic as that, but it's it gets almost to that. Um, I, I couldn't stop cracking up every time it happened. Um... And, uh, there's a part where the villain of this movie, I'm not making this up, this is a fucking real scene that happened in, in, in a kid's movie in 2019, uh, where the villain of this movie is explaining that he had some people that were, uh, uh, that worked for him, that I guess betrayed him or something like that, and he found out, so he killed him, cut them up and fed them to the hyenas they had. I'm not making that up. Oh yeah, these guys were guys that trained as hyenas. <laughs> it's so they, the guy was feeding him like these bloody parts, little parts of these people to the hyenas. I'm not making this shit up. It's like I'm sitting there like that's more violent than anything I saw in Black Christmas. That whole scene was fucking great. I love that. I thought that was hilarious. Um <laughs> like I said, it, the movie, I also liked about the movie that early on in the movie, uh, this was kind of a nice little touch, where, you, it, like in the first movie, it, or it, like in Welcome to the Jungle, where they only have three lives, and if they lose all three lives, they all, they're dead. Um, early on in the movie, or pretty much early on in the movie, they only left with one life, like very early on in the movie. And it's so, like, the whole movie, there's kind of, like, this sense of dread. Like, holy shit, like, it, obviously, you know, they're not going to die. But, because uh, this is a kid's movie, like, I don't expect this movie to have the balls to do that. But, I mean, it would be nice. It would be kind of cool. But, uh, <laughs> uh, but, like, it does kind of, like, make it kind of suspenseful sometimes. Like, how the fuck are they going to get out of these situations? Especially, like, the situation with the baboons. That was a great fucking scene. And that was a really good scene. Uh, I really enjoyed that scene with the baboons. Um, who is the villain in this movie? If, he looked recognizable. I'm looking at him up. I could not fucking remember. I could not tell from who the hell it was. Uh, who the hell they, that was supposed to be. Um... Shit. Uh, Rory McCann? Who the hell is that? I don't know. Rory McCann, he's from fucking course Game of Thrones. Uh, it looks like something that came out of Game of Thrones. Um, yeah, he's pretty good. Like, even though this is getting to kind of where I don't like this movie as much as I like the first one. Or, or, I keep saying the first one, the first sequel, because the first one, it's not technically the first one. The first sequel is Welcome to the Jungle. Uh, the reason why this movie kind of repeats a little much, a lot, a little too much of the plot of the first movie, or the first sequel, um, where basically it's the exact same plot, uh, where it's, they get, they get uh, sucked into Jumanji, and they're you know, swapped different bo into different bodies, uh, and they find out that a villain of the video game has taken a stone, like in the first one, that has some magical powers, like in the first one, that helps control the, the world of Jumanji, like in the first one. And they have to get the stone back, like in the first one, from the villain. And and they ha and when they do, they have to say the words Jumanji, like in the first one. It's literally the exact same plot. But like I said, you had Danny DeVito and Danny Glover, and they switch up a few of the characters whose bodies they go into. Also, Aquafina's in this movie, too. She was all right. Um, 
she wasn't as obnoxious as you would expect. She kind of toned it down. I like I like this Aquafina. Like I uh, like between this and uh, was the farewell. She was really good in the farewell. Uh, and she was not bad in this. Uh, <coughs> she don't pop up until like maybe an hour into the movie. Um, I'll give you a guess of who character she plays. Um, you can probably figure it out just by me saying the Aquafina has some kind of role in this movie. Um, but yeah, she, uh, yeah, it's pretty much the exact same plot. And also, one of the things that was kind of driving me nuts for a while, I liked uh, the Rock's version of Danny DeVito and Kevin Hart's uh, Danny Glover. One of the things that was driving me nuts a little bit was there, there was this running joke for the first half of the when they're in the video game or like Danny DeVito keeps going, we're in a video game? They're like, oh, okay, that's funny. You know, like he keeps getting really confused. Like he can't understand, comprehend, like that he's in a video game. We're like, okay, that makes sense. But then it keeps going. He keeps saying the same thing over and over again. We're in a video game every like ten minutes. I'm like, is he getting dementia? <laughs> like, is this character getting dementia that we don't know? Um, no. Oh, okay. Uh, fuck it. I like. I was like, I'm like, okay. It, it starts to wear out its welcome once it, it keeps doing that joke over and over and over and over again. and But it does quit doing that after a while. It is like what, like I said, again, like the first one where they're learning that there's new characters that are having to learn the rules of Jumanji and basically be told the same rules that we know already from the first one. We don't need to be... But again, it's like any sequel. Um, like I said, it, it, it falls under a lot of problems a lot of sequels do anyways. Um, but yeah, I... But still, it's not a bad movie whatsoever. It's really fun. I, I like the movie quite a bit. Um, and it, um, it does sequel bait you at in the, there's a scene in the mid credits, middle of the credits, uh, a sequel bait you, uh, which makes it interesting because I want to see where this goes because I, I think from what the mid credit scene says er, is indicating that uh, basically they're gonna try to redo the first one all over again. I, I it's kind of hard to talk about when we get into spoilers. But it's what kind of seems like they're doing. And I'm like, alright, cool. Uh, elements of the first one. They're not going to have like a Robin Williams character, Al Alan Parrish or anything. Alan Parrish doesn't pop up as somebody else. No, don't worry. That doesn't happen. But, um, yeah. So, I, yeah, I'll be fine with that. And, like, it obviously, I'm sure this movie's going to get a sequel. I don't know. I think it's doing pretty well at the box office. Uh, like, barely anybody was in there uh, for it. But, it was, I'm sure, I think it did pretty good at this past weekend, so I hope, I hope, I, like I said, I hope people could do go see this. Go see this not fucking Black Christmas, alright? Uh, do me a favor. <laughs> Support this shit, not Black Christmas. Um, trailers. Uh, trailers. Where the fuck is my <laughs> trailers on this phone? Oh, Free Guy. Got a trailer for that. The new Ryan Reynolds movie where he's a non-playable character in a GTA Grand Theft Auto-esque video game um, where he decides to take matters in his own hands and become a playable character. Uh, he's like a bank teller like in like a GTA type video game. And... Yeah, it don't look... It's like, I wasn't... I, I heard the plot of this movie, I'm like, oh, that sounds kind of funny. But it's... Like, some people have said it's like a live-action Wreck-It Ralph, but it doesn't... It, the trailer wasn't that funny. I didn't find the jokes in that movie landed very well. I don't know, I like Ryan Reynolds. Maybe it'll be good, I don't know. Not, not every trailer for a comedy has always had great... Not every comedy has had great trailers, so... Um, yeah, I, I, like, we'll see. Um... And then Ghostbusters Afterlife. Uh, I've, full disclosure, I've kind of, I know there's been a lot of trailers that popped up online over the last couple of weeks. Like, there's a new James Bond, Black Widow, uh, what the hell else, Wonder Woman, all stuff like that. I have not watched any of those trailers. 
so whenever I talk about these trailers, this is the first time I've seen them. So this is my first time seeing the new Ghostbusters Afterlife trailer. And I am really crossing my fingers on this movie. I really, 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 really am. I want this movie to be so good. Um, I, I, I'm just, I'm praying, man. I'm, pr I'm just crossing my fingers and praying that this movie's awesome. It should be. I hope it is. I'm not sure. It has promise. Like, it's weird when this trailer started, I didn't even really think, I was like, what the hell is this? And then I saw that kid from Stranger Things, I was like, Oh, is this the Ghostbusters trailer? And Paul Rudd popped up. I'm like, oh, okay, this is the Ghostbusters trailer. And, like, the kid's living on a farm with his family. And some weird, like, seismic activities happening. And so he finds, like, ghost traps and old uniforms. And that his family is kind of tied with the Ghostbusters. And that maybe his grandfather was one of the Ghostbusters. I'm thinking that he's his grandfather was Harold Ramis. If so, that's awesome. Um, I should. It was weird. Like a lot of people mentioned, this trailer really didn't have many jokes in it, and it was playing it really seriously, which I'm fine with. Um, because really, the you know, while the first one was a straight up comedy it also took itself seriously it was a horror movie that was also a comedy it was really good at it um I, I, man, I'm hoping to I also love the fact that it had showed restraint not showing any footage of any of the original cast in this trailer whatsoever it's all the footage of the new cast it's nothing to do as Jason Reitman's directing this you know he's Ivan Reitman's son I hope I hope, I hope this movie's awesome. It looks, a trailer doesn't look bad. From what I see in a trailer, it don't look bad. Um, it looks more promising than Ghostbusters. It's more promising than the first Ghost, the female Ghostbusters trailer. I'll say that. Um, here's hoping it's good, man. I hope it is. Uh, that's as far as trailers. I still gotta go see Richard Jewell. Uh, maybe tomorrow or Tuesday. Depends on what the, how I feel. But until then, I'll talk to you guys.